Hello there, Ms. Shibley here with our skills lesson for today, and we're on skills, skill seven, lesson six. Our I can, or what I will learn today are, I can distinguish between singular and plural nouns and match the correct verb form with singular and plural nouns in oral sentences. I can read the red dish with purpose and understanding. I can answer written multiple choice and short answer questions about key details in the story. We're going to begin by doing our noun verb agreement. So that means that our noun and our verb agree. So most of the time, if our word is a single, so a singular noun, you are going to add an S to the end of our verb. If it is a plural noun, it is normally left alone. So let's go ahead and practice. So I'm going to go ahead and do the first one. Our noun is Martez. Our verb is visit. So if I were to put Martez and visit in a sentence, it would sound something like this. Martez visits Kay's house. And I added an S to our verb because there is only one Martez. Number two, K is our noun, play is our verb. Would it sound okay to say K play tag or K plays tag? You're right, there's only one K, so we have to add an S to the end of play. So K plays tag. Number three, parents look. Would it be her parents look out the window or her parents looks out the window? We don't need to add the letter S to the end of look because we have more than one parent. Parents is our plural word. So it would be her parents look out the window. Number four, the ice cubes melt in the glass or the ice cubes melts in the glass. You're right, the ice cubes melt because there's more than one ice cube, so we don't need to add the S. Okay, number five. My teacher reads a book, or my teacher read a book. We would have to add the letter S to the end of reads, because there's only one teacher. My teacher reads a book. Number six, students write. The students write a story or the students writes a story. You're right, we would leave the word write alone because we have more than one student. So students write. Number seven, picture and show. A, a picture show the family or a picture shows the family. It would be shows because we only have one picture, so we have to add an S to the end of our verb. Number eight, friends play. Our friends play outside or our friends plays outside. Our friends play outside because we have more than one friend and the word already has an S on the end of it. We do not have to add an S to the end of our verb. And that brings us to our story for today. Our story again is going to be the red dish. Okay, so we are going to read the story. And we're going to answer some questions at the end. The Red Dish. The next day, Kay has dinner with Martez and his mom and dad. 
Martez's mom and dad are from Mexico. They have a Mexican dish with peppers, corn, and rice all mixed up. There are two dishes of it sitting side by side. One dish is red, one dish is green. Are the two dishes the same, Kay asks? Nope, says Martez with a smile. The stuff in the red dish has lots of hot peppers. The stuff in the green dish has just green peppers, which are not as hot. Martez points at his dad and says, my dad likes hot peppers. His dad smiles and nods. Martez asks Kay, do you like hot peppers? Kay shrugs. She has never had hot peppers. Kay has some food from the green dish. She likes it a lot. She says, could I have some from the red dish? You can, but it's hot, 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 says Martez. We have a saying in our house. He is a brave man who has food from dad's red dish. Brave or perhaps foolish, says his mom. Kay is brave or perhaps foolish. She takes a bite of the peppers from the red dish. Martez looks at her. His mom and dad look too. Do you like it? asks Martez. Kay's face starts to go red. She yells, hot! Her face gets redder and redder. Martez sees that Kay is in pain. He brings her ice cubes. Kay stuffs some in her mouth and lets them melt. The ice cubes help cool down her mouth. Ugh, Kay says, sitting back from her plate. Those peppers in the red dish are too hot for me. I need to stick to the green dish. Still, Martez says, today you join the club. What club? The I ate from dad's red dish and am still living to tell the tale club, says Martez. Martez and his mom and dad all smile. They like Kay. And now it is time for us to go ahead and answer questions about our story. So we are going to turn to 6.1. And we're going to answer the questions. Up at the top, it should say the red dish. You're going to write your name and the date on the top of your paper. And today's date is June 11th, 2020. And you could pause the video if you need to. Ready? Number one, which dish has the hot peppers? The red dish has the hot peppers. The green dish has the hot peppers. The gray dish has the hot peppers. Okay, so let's practice how we can answer multiple choice questions. We can cross off the last one because we didn't read about a gray dish. And then if we need to, we can go back to our story. But if we also think about our title of the story, it says the red dish. Okay, so the red dish has the hot peppers. Number two, what has Kay never had? She has never had hot peppers. She has never had sweet corn. She has never had cooked rice. Well, in our story, we didn't really talk about sweet corn. And if we think about what our story was all about, it was about hot peppers. So fill in the bubble that you think matches the best. Number three, after Kay, er, sorry about that. What happens after Kay takes a bite of the food in the red dish? After Kay takes a bite of food in the red dish, her face turns red. She stuffs, what does she stuff in her mouth so that she cools her mouth down so that it's not so hot? You're right, she stuffs ice cubes in her mouth to cool it down. Number four, 
this one is your opinion, okay? Which means that you have to tell us what your opinion is, why that is your opinion, and then provide a conclusion. So number four says, would you take a bite of the food in the red dish? Why or why not? Here's an example of what you could say. This is what Miss Shibley would say if she was answering the question. I would take a bite of, of the food in the red dish because I like hot peppers. I would try the food. Hey, don't forget to send your teacher a picture.